Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you demo of an event management project and this is a JSP servlet project where we are using um, JSP for the front end, front end is using JSP servlet, JSP, HTML and CSS, bootstrap things and to manage the server side it's using servlet to and it's a Maven project so we have a form.xml here to manage the dependency it's using MBC architecture so controller model and um, be inside in a separate package so let's run the package oh, okay uh, also before that uh, like we are storing the data into the database like mysql and these are the tables that is available for this project and we have deployed this application over the tomcat server on the local host so i'm going to run it from fresh uh, from scratch and then we'll see how it's working so to run the application, right click on the root folder of the application, go to run as, run on the server, select the server as a Tomcat, click on finish, automatically application will launch over your Chrome browser and this will be your welcome screen and here we have about us page and other option to go and log in and sign up. So we have a sign in and sign up button here. So if I am a new user, I can do a sign up operation here and I can submit uh, registration and i can fill up the form i can submit the data the data will be registered into the database and another option we have a sign in so if i refresh the user table here uh, in the database i can see the newly added user over there and now let's log in as an admin and then we'll see as a user so we have a two different type role in the application the first one is admin so let's see what admin can do then we'll move to the user so i'm gonna enter the username for the admin and the password for the same and click on the sign in button and i have another option like here user list so under the user list header as admin i can check all the newly registered user over there i can perform the delete operation so there is a delete button over there and under the booking history i can check all the booking for the events okay uh, the next thing we have a venue and event type so if i want to add any event type let's suppose i'm gonna add a event college event college events and here is a description i'm going to add some dummy text and if i view the event list event type list i can see the newly type here college event and under the venue section i can add a new venue or, or like i can add a new venue or new event detail so whatever the event type we add into the database that will be displayed uh, here i will be come into this list so here we have a newly added college event so i can create a venue for this college event how many uh, like capacity under the capacity like 20 members or 50 members let's suppose i'm going to add 100 members cost for this so let's suppose i'm going to enter <coughs> forty thousand. And the location let's suppose i'm going to enter some dummy data over there and the date for the event date let's suppose it will be 16th august i'm going to choose an image this will be featured image for the event so i'm going to add a demo image this one and click on the submit when i enter the submit the venue is added now this venue will be displayed to the other users okay uh, another contact form is there and from the admin side my profile and logout now i'm going to log in as an user and going to book a event so here this is a user with role id 2 so i'm going to log in with this user i just enter the username and the password here when i enter the sign in and i can see uh, i can see the book option so under the book option i will check all the venue list so this is the recently added venue list so i'm going to book it so i have to enter some dummy data here i'm going to enter some uh, person name the card number the payment detail about the price and all i can just payment uh, i can click on the pay that's a dummy payment gateway and a dummy payment page so payment success now if i go to the booking history i can see recently i have booked this event so i can now click on the logout option and this is an academic project not a real time so if you need the source code you can connect with us you can ping us over the whatsapp over the uh, mail and our team will give complete remote support so we have multiple different services if you're going to have it we'll do the complete setup at your machine and it will work same as source in the demo and if you want to understand the workflow and the internal code 
you can also do that and thank you so much for watching